Hello YouTube. Neighbor brought me his battery charger and it's not putting anything out. So this is what I did first. No output. I got my test leads on there to the meter. Okay, so this is what I did. I took the lid off. There's your circuit breaker, okay? I've already had this out. I just put it back in just so you can see what it looks like. I did even break the plastic out and look down inside of it and it's shot. It's been tripped so many times that it's all loose inside. I'll give you a close up of that one when we get towards the end here. But we're going to go ahead and take that out. We're going to change it. It's a 50 amp. All I could found, find at the auto supply store was a 40 amp. Make sure when you put these in, see that one that's copper? It says battery on it. Make sure that's coming out of the battery charger. That goes to the lead. That'll say auxiliary. So same as if this was coming off the battery in your car. Here, get it frame. It'd be the same as in this charger. This is the power going into the circuit breaker. Don't cross them. They have to be hooked up this way. One's copper, one's silver. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll flip it back on. And we should have juice on the meter. So stay tuned. Okay, before we put the circuit breaker, I'm going to show you how we found out what it is. We bypassed the circuit breaker, we got the test leads hooked up, it's kind of hard to see here, we're doing this at night time. There is the meter, we have voltage. Okay, we'll go ahead and put the circuit breaker in. We just showed you, that's how we figured out what was wrong with it, we just bypassed it. Don't do this and try to charge the battery, you can blow something up. But you flash that down. Pretty big battery charger and that's all that's in here. Down here in the bottom there's a transformer. So pretty big box for such little stuff in here. Okay, stay tuned. We'll get this in here and then we'll get it going. Okay, we got the circuit breaker in there. Let's turn it on. There we go. It's fixed. That simple and one last little clip will try to give you a little close-up of the inside of the circuit breaker where I broke it apart uh, what it looks like with the little metal tab in it so here we go this is done all I gotta do is put the lid on it it was four dollars for that part the auto parts store so four bucks it's ready to go again don't ask me if this is 140 amp if you look down there, I'll take a picture of that. A 55 amp boost and engine start. How that's supposed to work even when it had the 50 amp circuit breaker in there. I don't want to know. Maybe somebody can tell me. But it doesn't seem like big enough circuit breaker. Maybe it's just because I don't understand it. But stay tuned. We'll give you one last little clip. Okay. I got my flickering LED light there. But I ripped this apart. There's your little tab. This should not be this loose right here. This should be more stiffer on this peg. When this gets hot, all it does is this little metal strip will pull away from there. And it is shot. I'll take a pic close up picture. You can see how burnt that it is. But no, I don't think this piece of metal should move like I'm moving it there. But there you go. I'll give you a little close-up shot. This, when this gets hot, it'll bend up and it'll pull away, and there won't be no contact over here. Even if I had to really push down, it's all melding corroded. I did get it to get some contact, but you can tell where it's fried. So, thanks for watching. Hope if somebody has a battery charger similar to this, if something happens to it, they can figure out, fix it like I did.